Hello, everyone. I believe there are some people who want you to feel sorry for them. I believe within that group of people, there are some you probably should not feel sorry for because perhaps feeling sorry for them may encourage them to, to stay the way they are to not really progress. Yes, um, bad things has, bad things happened to many people in this life. I agree with that. Yet some people may use that to behave in the way they want to behave even though it is wrong so when they do wrong so if a person like that does wrong they may act like a victim like hey Yes, I did wrong, but hey, uh, back when I was younger, this and that happened. So since those bad things happened to me, yes, I am doing wrong now, but you should feel sorry for me and take the wrong I am doing to you because of what happened to me in the past. I hope this is making sense. So I believe some of those people see themselves as a victim no matter how much wrong they do in life so with some people i think it is hurting them in some ways to continue to feel sorry for them some people and I am going to say this in the right way, some people need a swift kick in their behind, on their behind, figuratively speaking. More so in the past, I would um, talk to some people about their problems. Most people I spoke to still had that, from my understanding, still had that victim mentality. It was as if, I believe, that many couldn't get past what they went through in a sense, from what I understand. And what I would do, for a while I would listen. I think most times I would listen and then they may come back and speak to me more and I would listen. Then, I don't know every case, but I believe it got to the point, I'm like, okay, you know, I heard what you had to say. You told me, in essence, this happened to you, that happened to you, this happened to you, that happened to you, okay. What are you going to do? What are you going to do now? And the way I felt about it, it felt like some of those people did not want to go past that. Like, as it seemed like they were just okay with me listening to their problems and not really going past that as it seems to me, as I, what I perceived, perceived from it. When you first tell me your story, okay, I can feel sorry for you. But you know right from wrong. If you choose to do what is wrong, you are wrong, yes, Many bad things happened to you in your past. 
but it is time to move on. I am not going to sit here and feel sorry for you day in and day out and for you to continue to tell me your feelings and what bad happened to you. Like, what I am trying to say, there have to be a time where you have to move on. Believe me, I have gone through some things in life too, believe it or not. Uh, maybe not like the worst case, but I have gone through some things too. And I had to overcome, as far as I know, I had to overcome what I went through. I don't see myself as a victim. Yes, people still do bad things to me, but I don't see myself as a victim. I know whatever happened in the past, whatever happens now, I have to forgive and move on. Some people I may have to avoid. Some people I may be able to reconnect with. That is life. What is not good, it is good to sympathize with a person. It is okay to have compassion for people. It is okay to have, it is okay to pity others in a good way. But I believe there comes a time when like you have to put your foot down if possible, depending on who you are speaking to. Like, look, I heard your story. Uh, um, I know what you went through based upon what you told me, but what are you going to do next? Yes, you have cried to me. Yes, uh, you feel bad. Yes, you may feel depressed, but what are you going to do? Like, you can't stay in the state that you are in now. You can't. Learn to forgive. Okay, this person did this to me. This person did that to me. But work on learning how to forgive those people. Because I believe the Bible says, let me see if I can find the verse. Let's go to Matthew chapter 6, verses 14 through 15. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, Neither will your father forgive your trespasses. So in essence, if you want to be forgiven by God, you need to forgive people. And I believe too, when you begin to forgive people, I believe you will become a better person. As for myself, I believe I am a witness to this. The more bad I was, the more sick I was. Like maybe the more depressed I was. But the more I forgave people, the more I started to focus on God, focus on positive things. My life became better. I am not saying I, you know, um, I gained more money and all that's not better in that way, but better as in spiritual wise. And I believe in some cases, health wise even though I was more fit back then. Anyways, 
there is a time when you have to stop feeling sorry for some people because as it seems some people may use that as a crutch to continue on not doing what they should be doing in life per se i know i should change for an example i know i should change but because i make myself a victim and make people feel sorry for me that gives me an excuse to stay mean to stay rotten to stay uh doing these bad things because when i do those bad things and because i made so many people feel sorry for me so when i do bad things they will say well uh that guy is doing those bad things because he had a hard life so you should excuse it no 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 matter how hard a person's life is they have no excuse to continue treating people wrongly don't give anyone an excuse for wrongdoing if you had a bad life learn to get over it is it easy i am not saying it is easy i am not saying uh you know you can change overnight but work toward it now if someone told me you know they had a hard life i may feel sorry for them for a time but after a while, I'm like, okay, what you went through was very bad and you did not deserve it per se. But what are you going to do now? There is a time when you need to stop crying. There is a time when you need to stop getting high and getting drunk. And like you need to take proper steps to heal. Continue on, continuing on, doing the same bad things, how can you heal? If you have been, listen to me now, if you have been doing certain things for so long and you have not healed yet, doesn't it mean that you should change what you are doing? If someone told you you should read the Bible more often and it will help you and if you only do it for a minute every week and let's say that it's not helping you shouldn't you change it up like let me read more let me Shouldn't you do something different? I hope this makes sense. May God bless us.